at one time in our short human existence, we were all indigenous. That is to say that we are all indigenous. Indigenous is not a skin color. Indigenous isn't brown people half naked in the jungles. It is, but not in the sense that the institutions that impart that sort of knowledge and perspective to us would like us to see it. They use the word indigenous to sort of marginalize brown people. Not just brown people, but brothers and sisters of Mother Earth. The people that recognize their inherent spiritual awareness, their connection to everything that is in the universe ever expanding. Those of us who recognize our responsibility cannot turn away from that responsibility. And in this time, this prophetic time that we're in, it's no mistake that we're gathering here today to show the world that we can come together, that we are united. We're not divided. We're not going to concentrate on white people, brown people, black people. We're not going to concentrate on rich people, poor people. We're not going to concentrate on gay people, straight people, what have you. Any sort of division and classification that has been handed down, we have got to transcend those divisions. It seems to us only practical, only common sense that we should do this. Because the fate of the world hangs in the balance. That's not an understatement. When you look at what we have facing us, when we face what's called neoclassical economics, the type of economics that doesn't take into consideration the poisoning of water resources, the deforestation of rainforests, the extinction of several species per day, resulting from a carbon-based extractive fiat currency economy. That's what we're facing. We don't have to shy away from it. We don't have to pretend like it's not there. We don't have to call, we don't have to demonize anybody. Because the people who are behind the corporations and the institutions that are able to prop up this house of cards that we call reality, where we've got to trade our labor, our, our time, that we could be spend doing other things like spiritual responsibilities. We've got to trade that for a currency that we then trade for the basics of life that we have always provided for ourselves. It's, it's not rocket science and we've got to find a way because if we don't find a way, we're going to be put in desperate situations. And it hits very, very close to home for me because I have children. I have a family, I have a wife, they're going to have children. And we've got to learn how to coexist here in a way that our great grandchildren and seven generations to come can inherit an earth that's better than what we found it, better than what we were born into.